Happy weekend, ladies and gents, from Kelly's on Main on Main Street Hyannis, your go-to destination for all your game day libations. This is the Free Reign Sports Press presents Gambling Ramblings with Mike Gannon, ensuring your kneecaps and your bankrolls don't go broke this NFL season. Now, this here is the first installment of the Free Reign Sports Press presents the Gambling Ramblings with Mike Gannon, and we're going to give you two picks each, as well as the Patriots game, and finally, our Stone Cold Lock of the Week. Yes, that's six games that we're picking out of 16 games out of most weeks so we hope that you stay out of the red and in the green as this NFL season unfolds I am your host Wesley Sykes and to my left is Mike Gannon general manager of Kelly's on Main Mike how you doing today I'm good West good to be here thanks for having us here all right getting the pleasantries out of the way early and our first game features our hometown favorites, the New England Patriots, giving one point to the Buffalo Bills as they head up to Orchard Park, New York, in Buffalo for an AFC East showdown. Now, this is almost like a pick 'em this game here, where you have the Patriots minus one. Mike, who do you like this week and why? Well, I mean, th this week, Wes, is, is a lot of road teams. I, I like a lot of the road games, all right, and, and starting on out with our hometown Patriots. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think this game is so overblown due to the Rex Ryan factor and, course, and yeah. what they did last week uh, at Indianapolis. Um, but really, I, I, I see the Patriots taking this game. I, I see them taking it pretty easily. Um, you know, I, I think more is being made in the media of all the comments. Uh, you know, Rex Ryan, the hatred, hated Patriots. Mm -hmm. The, you know, I'll get King Kong to cover Gronk. You know, this and that. At the end of the day, though, on the field, their defense is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. We don't know what's going on with, uh, you know, LaShawn McCoy this weekend. And just Tyroy Taylor had a nice game against a soft indie team. I think we both agree on that. Yeah, absolutely. You know? But um, so – and we've seen what Belichick does the first-year quarterbacks. And so I just don't see Tyrod Taylor being comfortable in that pocket tomorrow. Uh, I mean, on Sunday, excuse me. And, uh, I, you know, I, I honestly just think with a healthy Gronk, Edelman, and Brady – yeah. They're going to put points up, which means Buffalo is going to have to score points. I just don't see that happening. So, yeah, I definitely don't think the the spread uh, will be in in question at all. I like the Patriots minus one as well. Uh, big reason you mentioned Rob Gronkowski, but the other guy who just recently changed uniforms uh, and joined the New England Patriots is Scott Chandler, formerly of the Buffalo Bills. When Gronkowski and Chandler were on the same field in the red zone. They were practically unstoppable. It doesn't matter if you have King Kong, a linebacker, a safety, a cornerback, or whoever on him. Uh, they, they can't guard him when they go to those four tight end sets in the red zone. In fact, there were four for four in the red zone with three touchdowns, two tight ends last week in the home opener against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, six plays in that four tight end set and three were for touchdowns. So I'm not that much of a mathematician, but I like those odds a lot. Uh, but into my first game of the week, I like six St. Louis minus three and a half on the road against the Washington Redskins at Landover, Maryland. Uh, St. Louis coming off a huge overtime victory over the NFC uh, champion Seattle Seahawks uh, in overtime. So very, very convincing victory. Although Alfred Morris in Washington last week did have 100 yards rushing, uh, just was not that convinced uh, that it's going to be a repeat performance against a stout front seven of, of the St. Louis defense. I'm talking about Robert Quinn. I'm talking about Aaron Donald. They both uh, combined for four sacks last week against St. Louis. And you know, I don't really think Kirk Cousins is uh, the exact same person as Russell Wilson. That's just me talking here. Uh, but on the offensive side of the ball, love Tavon Austin uh, for the Rams. That's a real X factor for this team, whether they use him out of the backfield, in the slot, or on special teams. That's a guy. Right. And staying in the NFC West, we have the Arizona Cardinals giving two to the Chicago Bears, excuse me, out of Soldier Field. Uh, Mike, what do you like about this game? Arizona minus two. Pretty yeah. strong play for me this week. Uh, Ellington may not play, but, you know, they like the kid Johnson they have behind him, and then there's another kid Johnson behind yeah. him, the rookie um, uh, out of northern Iowa, I believe. And, yeah. um, you know, they're pretty high on him. So, um, you know, I, th I, I think that's pretty solid. On the other side of the, of the ball, um, Never a big fan of Chicago. Tough, yeah. tough place to go in and play. Um, but when you look at a guy like Jay Cutler. How uh, can you trust him? Yeah, I, I think you're just looking at somebody who 
loses you more games than he wins. Well, uh, we have Miami giving six points to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Miami on the road in the battle for Miami. Now, battle for Florida. Miami has won the last three games this, this time these two teams have hooked up. Uh, but for me, it's really not what Miami does. It's what Jacksonville can't do. Uh, their second-year quarterback, Blake Bortles, 55 sacks. That was first in the league last year uh, for all quarterbacks that are qualified. He had five last week against the Carolina Panthers. Uh, another alarming stat, he had five uh, pick sixes last year, two of which came against Miami in a 27-13 loss on October 26th. He had another one last week against Carolina. So this is a guy that when you put the pressure on him, as we were talking about Tyrod Taylor and uh, young quarterbacks in general, when you put the pressure on them to make plays, you're going to see them make mistakes and kind of fold like origami under the pressure. So I think when you talk about Miami and their defensive front with Cameron Wake with Ndamukong Sue. You got Brent Grimes at cornerback. Those are guys who can put pressure on the offense. Moving from the AFC East to the NFC East, we have the New York Football Giants playing host to the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Mike, what do you like about this game as Atlanta is giving two points on the road? Well, I'm going to go with uh, Atlanta in mm -hmm. this game. Um, you know, I, I don't think that's nearly enough points. Um, again, just like all these teams and all these places, it's never easy to go into an opponent's right. stadium and win a game in the NFL. It, it just isn't. But um, I think we're going to see a lot of it this week. And this is another strong game, I think, um, uh, you know, that I'm going to take. I mean, look, a Atlanta has not been a good road team over the last couple of years. Right. We know that. They're a much different team. Matty Ice is a much different quarterback on the road than he is at home. Um, but I think they've built up that defense a little bit. You know, do they finally have a legitimate defense? You know, it'll still, you know, it's still um, up in the air. But I think they've built it up. And what does that translate into? A better road team, yeah. you know. Um, Atlanta needs a breakout road season. And I think they can start it with a breakout win uh, this Sunday against the Giants, who, you know, again, on their side of the ball, Eli Manning, um, he's another guy who can lose you a game Oh, just yeah. as easily as he can win it for you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I, I just think it's time for, for Atlanta. And, you know, the, the last X factor is there. And it's not that it's an X factor because it's not a big surprise necessarily. But oh, yeah. we all who's, know who's going to stop Julio Jones? Exactly. You know, exactly. like you say, except for himself, maybe with an injury or something like that. But mm -hmm. that was a dominant performance last week. I don't see that changing. You know, I, I had pegged as three best offensive players this year. Des Bryant, Julio Jones, and Rob Gronkowski. One thing that we've all been waiting for the, throughout this course of the segment is the Stone Cold Lock of the Week. And we're getting onto that right now. This is the Stone Cold Lock of the Week. And my pick that you can't miss on is Detroit getting three points on the road at the Minnesota Vikings. How does that happen? Uh, that, this is a former playoff team uh, of a year ago. This is a team that has one of the best wide receivers in all the game, a nice complimentary receiver in Golden Tate, a pretty – a pretty – I don't know, good quarterback? I don't want to say great. He's not elite, but he's a good well, quarterback. And Matt he's Stafford, legit. he's, legit. he's had a four or 5,000 yard season under his belt there. And the guy that I really like is rookie running back out of Nebraska, Amir Abdullah, for all those fantasy players out there. If he's not on your team or not or available in free agency, I think you should grab him ASAP because he ripped off a 20 yard run to open his NFL career. And I think that's just a start of many good things to come for him. But this Minnesota team, uh, I had a lot of hopes for them coming into that Monday night game against uh, San Francisco, but you talk about, again, a team that just peed right down their leg, Did, yeah. didn't stand up to the moment of Monday night football. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, they got some nice pieces. Mike Wallace, I don't see Adrian Peterson getting that rust off his legs after being out of the game for a year. I think you're going to see a little more time for him to pick up, and uh, until they show me something that they can do on offense, then I'm not buying it. Sure. Again, Perhaps. it's another whipping boy, okay? Um, and it's another road team. It's another road favorite. Um, I like Tennessee over Cleveland, mm -hmm. going into Cleveland and winning. Um, now, I had this done uh, before today, right. and you and I watched live on TV. We saw on the bottom line on ESPN. A yeah, uh, bit of breaking news. Yeah, McNown did press. not pass a concussion test. He, he couldn't tell whether he was Luke or Josh, so yeah, they, right. they're keeping him I on. I can't keep track of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they're keeping him on the shelf. Um, so, uh, Money Manziel will be playing yeah. uh uh, on Sunday, and that just makes me even more confident, you know. Because <laughs> he's going to make you money by picking yeah, against exactly. him this week. I, I don't think, you know, I, I just don't think he has it in him, uh, especially against a good Tennessee team, uh, good Tennessee defense. Um, uh, Marcus Mariota, you know, is he the real deal? 
Yeah. Uh, you know, we still have to wait and find out. But, I mean, had a legitimately perfect first game as a, right. as a rookie, you know. Um, and uh, I just feel he builds on that momentum. And that whole team builds on that momentum. You know, you've mentioned, you know, uh, Kendall Wright and Bishop Skankney. And I, I just think that they're going to keep going with that. You know, I just like Mariota. Um, and, uh, you know, Cleveland has that decent D, always do. Right. They're always, quote, unquote, a tough game to play. Right. Um, you know, yeah, it's always tough to go into any opposing team's, you know, building like we already talked about. But, you know, um, I just don't see them being able to stand up, you know. And, and, and you know, one interesting thing I've, I've, I found research in this game is, you know, cornerback Trayvon Williams from, you know, Cleveland, quote, we can't get no worse. Yeah. Well, you know, sorry, Trayvon, you can. <laughs> and, and and you will and uh so i think tennessee is you know take it to the bank that wraps it up for us just about yeah. you know we have six picks here so we hope that you can take that to the bank you take it to your bookies even more so uh, and or make online. a little money or yeah, online whatever yeah you do, you know. whatever you do fan duel whatever it is you pick it as long as you pick our picks we, we hope you put some money in your pockets Absolutely. there a yeah. little alliteration aside but that about wraps up mike do you have a, a couple things you want to say before we sign yeah, off here you know, just to finish up i just want to thank you for uh yeah. you know doing this here at kelly's on main having having me here i think we'll have a lot of fun this year I hope so. and uh hopefully we will honestly put some money in your pocket i mean these are these are real picks yeah. this is really what we think um this is really what we put a little bit of money on. Sure. So um, we're backing our picks as well as we're giving them to you. So, um, and, and please, anyone out there in the area, you know, the Hyannis area, Barnstable area, come on down to Kelly's on Main on, on Sundays, Monday nights, Thursday nights, you know, really pushing the uh, football. We have this NFL Sunday ticket. Um, you know, we run squares. We'll have some, you know, promotions from beer companies, this yeah. and that. So um, we got great food, great cocktails, yeah. um, you know, great specials. Uh, so, you know, hope, hope to see you down here at Kelly's on Main, you know, throughout the football season. So that just about wraps it up here from Kelly's on Main. This is the Free Range Sports Press presents Gambling Ramblings with Mike Gannon. That is Mike Gannon. I am Wesley Sykes. And may the odds and the football gods be ever in your favor.